Let me ask you. If I could get you $1,000 for your used car, you'd give me a check for $4,000, making your monthly payments four sixty dollars per month, right? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> What's so funny? The price is too much. Okay, let's take the trade. If I could get them to give you $1,100 for the trade, then we'd have a deal, right? <laughs> I'm gonna go real low on the down. $3,900. No. Okay, $3,800. Thirty-seven fifty. Okay, great. Sign here. I'm not saying I can do this, but I like you, so I'm gonna give it a shot. By the way, have you considered leasing? Okay, boss, I got him. Give me a lease. Eight hundred for the trade. Thirty-seven fifty down. Four fifty a month. Hmm. Good job, Bobby. You are one sick individual. Mm-hmm. You think that is control? That is total control. You have to be fearless. If this guy ever took the time to add up the numbers, he'd find out he's paying almost twice the sticker price. And he's fucking thrilled! <laughs> no, no, what? All right, I gotta go. I gotta go. I got customers. I gotta go. I'll call you back. Mr. Garcia, hello. Hi. How are you? Can I help you with something, sir? We went to our credit union. They explained to me that if I buy this car, I cannot afford to feed my family. Please, Mr. Duruka, can we give it back? Oh, no. Mr. Duruka, please. Could you please take it back? Mr. Garcia, I'm sorry. I don't think I can help. <laughs> Let me see what I can do. Hey, Reggie. <clears throat> These people came in yesterday. Um, and uh, I want to help them out. I mean, they, they, they really can't afford this. We, we overdid it. I mean, the car's going to be in repo anyway if they go bankrupt, so... Let me say we cut them some slack. Let me see it. Sorry, Mr. Garcia. I really tried. I am so sorry. You know what? I can't handle this shit anymore. Reggie's right. We're a bunch of fucking whores. A bunch of uneducated, arrogant, goddamn fucking whores. How can you blame these poor bastards? Every single person that walks into this place has been raped by a car salesman. And they know beyond a shadow of a doubt it's gonna happen again. Do you wanna know why I'm here? I'm here because I tried to make something in my life and I failed. But at least I gave it a shot. Oh, yeah. You weren't selling cars. You either be washing them or stealing them. Shamim, you think you're better than everybody else? Well, let me tell you something. The cars you're selling are worth more than the hometown you grew up in. See, these people, they don't earn their money by fucking other people out of it. And all they want to do is, is put a little food on the table for their children. Maybe send them to a decent school or something. Then we come along and take them for everything we can. And you know what's worse? We're so good at it that when we're done, most of them think we're heroes for doing it. If you're gonna steal from these people, at least show them just a little bit of respect. 
let's not insult them any more than we have to. I think the green pea ain't no green pea no more. Are we taking advantage of people? Let us take a look. Your job is to sell a car for as much as you can. The customer's job is to buy the car for as little as possible. Why should you feel guilty about being better at your job than somebody else is at theirs? Now, if I went with a customer to get a deal in a car and I told him we were gonna fuck the salesman, he would love it! If he makes a good deal, he takes money out of your pocket. If you make a good deal, you take money out of his. What's the difference? Now, if somebody buys a car and he leaves thinking he got screwed, then he is an idiot. The buyer has all the control. He can get up and leave at any time. He does not own that car until he drives it off the lot. Not when he signs the papers. He does not own that car until he takes delivery. So who has the control, huh? If he got fucked, he fucked himself. It's that simple. Be proud of what you do. Be the best and never, never apologize for it. Well, selling the car is just like fishing. You bait the hook, you throw it out, and then you reel them in real slow. You ask them questions about their family, what they do, the right side of their interest, and once you get their trust, trust. Come on! <laughs> you just sold the car! <laughs> yep, you're gonna look good in that car. <laughs>